Alonzo, what goes into our function? So let's, yep, keep going. Good job. Raisin, simplify. What do you do first? Multiply? Oh, you can't see anything, sorry. Ghost right here. Alonzo put in negative one, right? Uh, what are you going to do first? Which is? And negative one times 0.5? So let's write that separately. Remember, you're not subtracting those, you're multiplying. Yeah, that would be negative 0.5. Raise it over here. Which is? Do you like decimals or fractions? Uh, do you want to turn those into fractions or you just keep it? I got a tr not a trick question. I just want to know what you know. Think about it in your head. To eliminate the decimal, I can multiply by 10. Show me your thumbs. Uh, talk to your partner why that does not work. All right, so you saw the decimal. You don't like decimals. You have to move it one decimal place, which means you multiply it by 10. The reason why you can't do that is you would have to multiply by 10 on both sides. Does that make sense? Sometimes in solving equations, you wouldn't eliminate the fraction or the decimal. You would not do that in this case. So, Raisin, you have uh, 50 cents. You have $2. How much do you have? So we have negative 2.5. Again, if you like working with fractions, just in that part right there, just change it to a, a fraction. Partner A, tell partner B, what's the next step after this? Alex? We, we evaluated negative 1. Now we need to evaluate one. Alex, tell me what to write. All right, Alex, go ahead and simplify that. So we've already evaluated it at negative 1 and got an answer. Now we're evaluating it at 1. Alex, simplify. Correct. So that'll become 1. 1 times 0.5 is just 0.5. Over here. And if you add those together... Partner A, tell partner B what's the next thing we need to do. Good job, Alex. Melissa? What is it? Average rate of change formula. Melissa, let's go ahead and label these. All right, go ahead and do your formula. In 
Substitutions, Melissa? So Yep. X2 value? So your X2 value is up here. And your X1 value. Go ahead and simplify this. Yourself. Negative 2.5 minus 2.5. Oh, not here. One, negative 2.5 minus 2.5. Positive or negative? One, negative 1 minus 1. And negative 5 halves divided by negative 2. positive 5 halves. So the average rate of change between the interval of negative 1 to 1 is 5 halves. So evaluate it separately, then use your average rate of change point out.